I'm back at Greg's. I got my radio, I got my servos. Let's see if my Crawler King is four wheel steer. This should be fun. Hey, Nick. Hey. Great, I'm back. Greg, I gave you an assignment. Turn my Crawler King into a four wheel steering machine. Have we accomplished that? We're very close. Now, we've achieved the mechanisms, but Nick, you have a two speed receiver in here or a two channel receiver in here. Oh, is you that the 200? Channel. Yep. Oh. I think I, I think I left it in the twin hammer, the, the R1 or the sawback. Well, the good news is it's an easy swap out. So the mechanisms are all working. So we'll just talk about that. Okay, well, show me how we did it. All right, then. Well, I found something in the car. All right. Maybe. Never, You never should travel with, you know, more than... With just one car. than one RC. <laughs> you should have several. Um, both would work. We can swap them. Okay. All right. Let's do it. You are now model six. Later. <laughs> Congratulations. So the way the process starts, it always starts with a 2D sort of situation where you have to draw the stuff out. So I would take my caliper, I would take some measurements off the front here, and then those measurements I just transfer to the piece of paper. It's not to scale or anything, it's just a reference and just to have numbers written down. From the piece of paper, I then take it into the computer. So from while we're looking at the computer now, what we can see here, here is essentially that piece of paper with those measurements on it and the height here for this little guy. Uh, you got the distance between the plates. We'll show those in a minute and then how far apart those plates are also. And from there, that's enough information for me to model the actual axle itself. Cool. So once I, once I have all these uh, curves, they're called, and the measurements all worked out, now all I have to do is make an extrusion. And that's as simple as uh, hitting extrude and then there we go, there's our parts. Right, it fits perfectly, nothing's interfering, there's no overlapping of the part like that, which is nice. And control Z. And everything clears digitally, which means it's going to clear physically because we've made all the right measurements and taken everything into account. And so from here, it's just a matter of exporting these and printing them off. This is, <laughs> this is a very elegant solution in that it only uses the material that it actually needs. There's nothing extra on here, there's no extraneous parts, there's not a lot of gobby plastic or metal or any of that kind of stuff. And it's just as solid as any metal part's ever going to be it's for this, this application, it's perfect. Now if the Crawler King were only still popular, you might be able to sell a few of these. Yeah, this is also popular. There's a lot of people out there with Crawler Kings. This is a pretty popular truck. Over so the you know what, if you got a Crawler King and want to go four-wheel steer, uh, RC Details is where you can go. RCDetails.ca, you can come get them there. Usually this is an iterative process that takes maybe three or four tries. I was lucky and I got it in two tries. So the first try that I did, here's the, here's the actual component here. Um, we can compare it to the one that, that I've ended up printing as a final. Uh, you can see how they, how they sit, you know, they would sit in the same, same area. The problem with this piece is it interfered with the spring. So I had to go back and do a redesign. And in that redesign I was able to, to give it this kink and get it out of the way. So that's how you know you start it. You start with one thing, you try it out, it doesn't work, you figure out why it doesn't work, and then you make the changes. And it just goes back and forth and back and forth a few times. But like I say, I was able to do it twice. And we have, we have excellent movement. Nothing this is compressing a hundred percent, so it doesn't interfere at all. No. Nope. We've retained almost one hundred percent of your suspension travel. That's which, amazing. Which is amazing. Yeah, that is really good. You're I, very lucky. Oh, holy cow. There we go. There Dual steering. This is a beast now. Oh, yeah. A contender. Okay, let's crawl it on some rocks. Okay. Greg, if anybody has uh, an idea for a part or a product, they should just get in touch with you and... Yeah, they can come to my website, rcdetails.ca, and fill out the contact form and ask some questions. I'll be happy to answer. So, 
Whoa. That's right, I started rcdetails.ca as both an educational forum so people can learn more about this process, but also a means to sell my wares to those who are interested. Hi, you're watching RCTV. I'm Wes Turnbull, and I'm reminding you, stay lipo safe.